firstly, uh, with this Adidas ball, the first thing I'd, I'd state anyway, it's it's very different than um, kicking the gill, but the sweet spot on it, it's a lot lower. So I've had to tilt the ball a lot further forward and on the angle to be able to, um, for me to be able to hit it in a higher place where I normally would. So where I'm lining it up, um, a lot of time when I practice, it's literally I won't practice out wide here. I'll literally be in front of the post. I'll be sort of around those maybe 15, 15 in is sort of as wide as I go, but I'll make the, um, the angles a lot narrower. So I'll kick maybe instead of kicking from instead of kicking from here, I'll, I'll do a lot of my kicking around sort of that part of the field. So that's a, a big circle there around that part of the field, but then also like a narrow angle sort of from around there. Um, so, yeah, my, uh, my thought process is I've lined it up. I've given a little bit more tilt to allow for the sweet spot of this ball. And because I'm a right foot kicker, I, it's sort of it's going to swing a little bit right to left if I hit it well. Um, so I'm always aiming just right at that black dot there. And the further the kick, the more sort of I give myself leeway for that um, that little curve of the ball to just slightly come back. So I've lined it up. I get my chest square. I find my 45-degree angle of where I am facing the ball. Um one tip I'll give is instead of coming at the ball, instead of coming at the ball directly, I uh, I tilt my chest to um to face the front of the ball. That way I'm not that way I'm not um, getting to the back of the ball and stopping my stride. It keeps the ball flat lower and allows you to kick more with your body. So I've got my 45 degree angle. Now I uh, so the thought process that goes through my mind is chest to the front of the ball. Nice even stance and all I'm doing is finding literally a spot in the crowd for me right now it'd probably be literally that little spot right there that's where I'm focusing so my eyes are I'm sending the ball through that literally I'm sending the ball through this all the way to that point that's all my that's all my eyes are focusing on I'm not thinking about kicking left about missing it about anything else but that little spot there and making sure I'm smothering that ball. So I'm staying on my toes. I've got my main thought. There's my eyes there. Just before I start my run up, um, I give a nice little smile just to remember it's all a game. It's all about uh, playing, and not uh, taking it too seriously. I actually visualize um, my dog's face in the crowd now, which is a, a new thing sort of I've come up with just to, um, yeah, as I'm, I'm kicking the, in the ball in the park to him. And then I'm taking some... So now when I start my run up, I'm making sure my first step isn't planting. It's still semi on my toes so I can get nice and steady and get a nice forward motion. And I'm building into that kick, keeping that 45-degree angle. But now at this stage, my eyes are firmly focused on literally the bottom. There'll be a little spot here. I normally find uh, on the Gilbert ball, it's the T with the um, I face a little udder out. On the Adidas ball, I think it was... Um, the K in all blacks, the letter K in the all blacks. So my eyes are firmly focused just on that one point. I'm building in on my toes into the kick nice and smoothly, making sure my chest and head are tall enough where I'm not going to sort of squash my leg swing, but um, over the ball enough where I can give it that nice low sort of flight and follow through. Then when I kick the ball, making sure I, I stay over it and my head's down until I finish my kick. So as soon as you, if you come up too early, that's literally when you, uh, that's when literally when you can start swinging the ball to the left. If you keep your head over the ball, if you keep your head over the ball for at least one step until after you finish the kick, it allows your body weight to stay on that right side. So it allows your your left shoulder to stay forward and it counterbalances you, so you can stay through your kick straight, and then. It's all about yeah the finish. So it was uh, that one's not a bad not a bad strike actually. Um, but yeah, so that's the process for me. It's about lining the ball up just right at the black black dot, um, making sure I'm nice and tall before I start. Reminding myself that it's a uh, it is a game. It is about having fun. It's a, it's about the enjoyment. It's not about oh, it's pressure. The moment's on me. I got to make this kick. I got to make this kick. It's literally about done the practice, I know what I'm doing here. If I literally, if I stick to my process, let's see what happens. And uh, that allows me to almost enjoy it and have fun with that moment. And then just finding a, 
p- picking a particular person or um, or maybe letter or some sort of landmark in the uh, in the crowd that I can focus on and put my direction towards. So I'm literally aiming at. I'm not aiming at a big target. I'm not aiming at the whole go- goalpost. That is sort of another good tip I'd give is instead of aiming at this whole literally. Instead of aiming at something this big, I'm aiming at a target that big, which makes sort of a big difference. It's a, a little game within the big game, as uh, one of my old kicking coaches used to tell me. So I'm finding a little, fixing a spot in the crowd that um, is going to stay there. So like I said, for me, it'd probably be that little point there. Visualizing my, I'm kicking to uh, my dog in the backyard to that spot, and then it's just about that momentum, staying nice and light on my feet, nice tilt forward, coming to the front of the ball, and then my eyes. As soon as I start moving, my eyes are only focused solely on that little, whatever it is at the bottom of the ball, that bottom angle. My eyes focus on that, and I, uh, and I finish the kick. Very important to finish the kick. Don't look up too early to see if you've kicked it or not. Stay in your kick for as long as you can. It allows the ball to fly straighter. You'll be able to stay over your kick and you'll be able to go straight towards the goalpost instead of falling off to the left if you're a right footer or as a left footer falling off to the right.